All right, what's up everybody? It's Nico Ball and it has been a while since I've been able to get out here and actually make some content for you guys. Instagram has been absolutely positively driving me crazy, not letting me upload reels, not letting me put the subtitles in the text where they need to be. Um, and if you edit the videos outside of reels, like on Adobe Premiere, like a video editor will do, it doesn't help push it to the algorithm. So it has been a long journey trying to create consistent content while also trying to create alternative platforms outside of Instagram. So I'm working on building a website, portuguesefordjujitsu.com, which right now is a landing page, but it's supposed to be opening it up to um, having more resources for you guys, whether it's a free blog with videos, um, downloadable worksheets, downloadable vocabulary guides to a paid BJJ library where you can get some Brazilian jiu-jitsu techniques that are in the Portuguese language, but that have good audio, they have subtitles, they have transcripts, they have vocabulary guides so that as you're watching the techniques, you can kind of practice that vocabulary that's very specific to the technique. I think that is one of the best ways to learn Portuguese. That is how I learned Portuguese. I learned Portuguese 100% from training jiu-jitsu. I never took a class in my life, and realistically, I didn't buy a book until um, I started creating curriculum. Um, and I only really use it as a guide to know where the holes are in Portuguese curriculum. So that's kind of what I wanted to talk a little bit about today because I have posted a picture with this book. This is to learn Brazilian Portuguese, speak, write, and understand Portuguese in no time. And apparently there is a CD included. There is. How many of y'all can actually play CDs on something? Because I know my computer do not have a CDs, and I think somebody left a DVD player here, but <laughs> um, so yeah, let's get into why I do not recommend buying a book to learn Portuguese. The first reason would be um, because you really have to analyze your goals for what you want to learn Portuguese for. So if you're watching this video, you most likely want to learn Portuguese for jujitsu. So then you got to really take into account, do you need to be fluent in Portuguese? Are you ever going to travel to Brazil? Um, if you travel to Brazil, is it going to be for like a week or a two week long vacation? Might you go down there to train for a month? Might you go down there to do a camp for a major competition? Although I don't think that's as common nowadays as so many um, Brazilian teams are actually moving to the US. I don't think people are going to Brazil um, to do camps. But I think it's really important to understand like what is it that you want to use the Portuguese for. You know, some of us might just want to have fun learning another language and think it's really cool when we can understand Brazilians at competitions or think it would be really dope that you could go on a Gracie Mag and understand the Portuguese techniques. So I think it's really important, first off, to be really realistic about what you actually want to use the language for. Because if your goal isn't to be fluent, if your goal isn't to live in Brazil, if your goal is not to put yourself in a situation where you're ever going to have to order food or you know talk about the post office, then there is absolutely positively no reason for you to learn any vocabulary related to ordering food or going to the post office. So the first reason I tell people not to you know rely on books is books are going to give you a whole lot of vocabulary that's structured for general situations. So, for example, if you're trying to learn Portuguese for jiu-jitsu because you want to learn how to execute a double leg takedown, then it's not really going to help you to be like, hey, my name is Nico and I'm 24 years old. You're not using conversational Portuguese, you're using commands, you're using verbs, you're using transitions and prepositions of location. So, like, there's no reason for me to focus on those conversational things like where are you from when I really need a little bit more specific grammar. So, um, I hope that wasn't too confusing. I guess the, the first tip is to figure out what your goal is and what you need linguistically to be able to do that. Do you need conversational 
um, Portuguese or do you need something that's a little bit more technical? And then if you do need something that's more technical, um, how can you break that down actually grammatically into parts of speech, vocabulary, and like actual semantics, which is forming sentences? Let's look through the book a little bit more um, and pull out some of the benefits to it um, because again, uh, there are some benefits to buying a book, but I think um, a lot of this you might be able to find on Google. Like you have introducing the Portuguese language that is goes up to um, page 10, things like European versus Brazilian Portuguese. These are all things that you can find for free on Google. The sounds of Portuguese. These are all things that you can find for free on Google. I'm going to drop it. Portuguese Pod 101 has a ton of free resources. All of those probably better than what's on this book. Uh, beginning conversations and greetings, again, Portuguese Pod 101, it's all there. Quick introduction. So let's actually go into it. The one thing I would say that you might be able to find here is uh, worksheets. There are no worksheets or practice in this. Ah, there is one, and it is one, two, three, four. This is the practice in this book. If you were to buy a book, I would say the book needs to be heavy and practice, not for little things. That's what we're actually looking for. That's like the value that you're not going to get on the internet. Um, and then again, it'll give you some pronunciation, um, which is on the CD. But like I always tell my students, you can just put it in Google Translate, and Google Translate will pronounce everything for you. Again, the whole chapter review is a six question. It doesn't even take up a whole page. So if I the value from the book, then I want the actual worksheets. Like, because everything else that's in this, I have been able, like, you can find in Google. You can find on Portuguese Pod. Um, then we go into nouns, articles, and contractions. Knowing what a noun and an article is is super important. Um, in Portuguese, the grammar behind the articles, which is the and a articles are indefinite articles or a, and definite articles are the. But in Portuguese and Spanish, they have to match in gender and a number. So where we only have two, they have eight because there is a singular, plural, masculine, and feminine, and there are contractions to all of them. So like that's something that's really important to understand. But again, Portuguese pod, any just Google contractions in Portuguese, and you'll find it. Um, who are you? Introducing the verb ser. Understand the difference between ser and estar, very important. Also, you can find it on Google. Describing people and things in Portuguese. Um, again, if you're doing jujitsu, like the adjectives that you need to describe jujitsu are different from the adjectives that you're going to need for real life. Like, you don't need to know that somebody has curly hair, you need to know that somebody has like steady pressure. Um, uh, vocabulary and numbers, super important. I've come up with a video before. The numbers in Portuguese are not the same as numbers in Spanish. And like at some point, it's kind of insulting to just assume that all Spanish is Portuguese. Like don't show up to a Brazilian class in Portuguese. Don't show up to a jiu-jitsu class and then like when you have to count out your numbers for the warm up, try to do it in Spanish. Because like if Spanish isn't even your first language, do it in your language. Don't insult them by being like, oh, Spanish and Portuguese are the same thing. So I don't know Portuguese, so I'll just say Spanish. Um, try not to do that. That's just kind of weird and lazy. Um, more verbs. Verbs are super important, but what verbs are you going to need? Understand the difference between regular and irregular verbs. Super important. Um, but again, verbs are like the first thing that I start with um, because you need to know the ones that are going to be specific to jujitsu. Like how, like there's five ways to say get your grips or break your grips. So really diving into that and that's something that you're not going to be able to find on Google as much and you're not going to be able to find it in a book. You need to be able to get it from actual jujitsu, from people or actual techniques. Um, lesson 17 in this book is imperatives and subjunctives. That is essential. This is on page 1897. It's the 17th chapter. That is like the first thing that you need to know if you're trying to learn um, Portuguese for jiu-jitsu because basically the most basic form of speech is the commands. Grab this, let that go, don't do that, do this. That's all the imperative. Um, so again, no, the imperative is also very weird in, in Portuguese because Brazilians don't actually do it the way that they're grammatically supposed to. Um, they just kind of do it. Um, so that's something that's really important.
And then chapter 20 is like uh, traveling to Sambaland, getting your papers, hotel reservations, things like that. Um, but again, if you're trying to learn Portuguese for Jiu-Jitsu, you need to know how to register for a tournament. You need to know if you actually need a tourist visa to get into Brazil, which you no longer do. Um, so this book has... This book has some interesting information. Like again, I used it, I did not use it to study anything. I used it to compare with what I could find online and other books. I actually do have one more book. Let me pick it up. Again, I don't recommend these, but I'm gonna go through them. So this is an actual practice book. This book has better grammar explanations. Again, the grammar explanations are here, but there's nothing that I found in this book that I couldn't find on Google or Portuguese Pod 101. This book is an actual practice book. The format, super duper ugly. The information um, laid out very basically, but it definitely has a lot more actual practice. Um, practice exercises, apparently there's a listening exercise. I've never actually looked at the CDs. Uh, Você vive no Brasil? Do you live in Brazil? Answer the questions using the first person yo form. Você responde as perguntas dizendo a verdade. Do you all answer the questions truthfully? See, that's... I'm glad I read these because it's like, oh yeah, you want more practice, but what, 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 are you supposed to, why, do you all answer the questions truthfully? Why would you need to know how to respond to that or ask that? Você lê todas as palavras da pergunta? That's important. Like, do you read all of the words to a question? Like, that's a metacognitive skill that I teach my students, but it is not something that, like, that's not a question I would ask to practice Portuguese. Você compreende tudo que você escuta? Do you understand everything that you hear? So, você curte escuta música brasileira? Do you like listening to Brazilian music? So again, this is why um, these questions are just really far out there. <laughs> so, like I always tell people, not all words are created equally. So if you are trying to learn Portuguese for a specific thing, like you're going to Brazilian nationals, um, then this isn't really going to help as much as like, all right, I'm gonna get to the airport and as soon as I land in Brazil, I'm gonna need to call an Uber, but nobody speaks English. So what words am I going to need to get out of the airport? So for example, Uber, if you can call on your cell phone, amazing. So that's actually why I have T-Mobile because T-Mobile has free international, um, free international rates, so as soon as I get to Brazil, like for free, my phone works, I can call an Uber without a problem. But Uber will only pick you up in like two designated areas in the airport. So you either have to read the signs or you need to be able to ask somebody like, yo, where is the Uber pickup? Cadê o estacionamento do Uber? And I don't even know if it's estacionamento, which is parking, but generally there's a sign. Or if you put your app in Portuguese, it's going to tell you a ponto de, it's gonna tell you whatever the place, the name of the pickup point, the Uber pickup point, it's going to tell you on the Uber app, if it's in Portuguese, you need to go to ta da 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 And then you have to ask somebody, like cade, which means where cade, the whatever you saw in the app. And that's how you're going to find out where to get to your Uber, to get to your Airbnb maybe. And if you have an Airbnb, hopefully they speak English. But if they don't, then you're gonna need the Portuguese language to be like, oh, chegue. I'm here. Oh, cali você? Where are you? Oh, como eu vou entrar? How am I going to get inside? So really being able to identify what you need because você vive no Brasil is not going to help you when you're lost at um, the airport. So I think, again, books can be a resource, but the internet is free, and I think books are a way for people to be mindless, kind of like they are on Duolingo, where they just open the app and they go through this thing, and they think it's really cute when they get like a sentence like, oh, the cat slayed Darth Vader. Oh, look at me understanding Portuguese, but that's like worthless information for you to know. So, 
hopefully that is helpful and will give you a little bit more perspective on how to set what we call SMART goals, um, which are measure, what the hell are SMART goals? SMART goals, what is the S? Specific, measurable, accurate, or attainable, realistic, time, timeable, SMART goals. You need to make sure that you set SMART goals and not just say something like, I'm trying to learn Portuguese, because that, that is a very dumb goal, y'all. <laughs> so hopefully that helps. Let me know what you think in the comments. Peace.